is a magnificent footballing goal. The cup return leg with Hereford. The tie is already in the bag after winning the first leg 7-0 and Mikhail Beck celebrates his long-awaited debut with the opening goal midway through the first half. Beck quickly putting behind him his five-month freedom of contract battle with his former club Fortuna Cologne. Trying to flick it through for Moore, got there, now Beck, and he's got his goal! Good finish. So, Denmark had their name to the scoreline. But now, that's a stance ball and a goal for Beck. And they have been opened up, it's not a clean sheet. Musto. Well there with a clearance. Now Emerson again. Well, that's a good ball. Juninho. Brilliant skill. What would you expect from this fellow? Ravinelli back well placed. It's a magnificent footballing goal. And chance here for Beck. Chance for a break by Middlesbrough. If Juninho plays it, here's Ravinelli and Beck coming in from the other side. Should be four. And is. Juninho, Hignett and Clayton Blackmore through to Juninho again. Beck bursting to the left. Good ball from Juninho. Beck's in. He must finish. He does. It's 3-0 to Middlesbrough. 35 minutes gone, Janino inevitably had a hand in it. Good jump and a good header from Nigel Pearson. Really solid in the centre there is Pearson. Blackmore working the one-two, good turn by him, finds Janino. Oh, that's a great ball, brilliantly taken! Juninho again against the mass ranks of Chesterfield, but he's found the pass for Beck, and Mikel Beck has given Middlesbrough the lead in the 12th minute. Well, it was rather scuffed at the end, but do they care? Not a jot. This is Fleming looking to get Beck away. That's a good ball. Can Beck do it? Oh, he's beaten Bosnich. 2 0. Superb ball by Fleming. 32 minutes gone. Bester couldn't reach it, Beck did, and in doing so has given Middlesbrough the lead on the night and double their aggregate lead in the final minute of the first half. It's Mikhail Beck's third goal of the season. Merson's cross, flicked off Fester Beck! And Mikhail Beck gets the goal he needed to try and persuade Brian Robson to keep his checkbook in his pocket. Well, I was just about to say, what a save that was, because I thought Tracy had somehow managed to scoop it over.
done by Pearson. Merson out wide. Here's Ormrod. And back. Off both posts and eventually in. Mikael Beck. Stakers again. Oh, robbed by Hignett. Now a real break on for Middlesbrough. Merson for Beck. This is a great chance for Mikael Beck. And he's taken it. Super finish, Mikkel Beck and Borough are in the lead. West Brom lost possession there, and Borough had the turnover, and they were in. Beck. Corner, Rickard looking to get underneath it, but it was Jackson who was there. Thomas's cross, and it was pulled back well by Vickers. And Madison and Norwich scramble it clear with Roberts. Hignett plays it back in. Norwich at the moment hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Madison, and it's deflected in by Mikel Beck. More by luck than judgment, perhaps, but Beck will be delighted to claim it. And Middlesbrough go 3 0 up. And then perhaps with a chance to uh, drop it back in to the feet of Ricard. Merson. Back! All credit to Brian Robson. He's made the changes, and one of his substitutes, Mikel Beck, has pulled it back to 2 1. Gordon, that's an inviting centre, and Mikel Beck was unmarked, and Middlesbrough are level. Back with Stockdale, looking to work maybe a better angle, the youngster. Fester lets it run, Rickard Fester against the post, back. They've got what they fully deserve. In the end, it was a tap-in for Mikel Beck. But Southampton's lifeline in this first half snapped. That is a magnificent footballing ball.